Hello my dear student, welcome to biology. Today lecture 5 part 8. So my dear student, we are learning sexual reproduction in flowering plant. So we came to know about how pollen pistil interaction happens in female part of flowering plant. So here is a diagram that shows that pollen pistil interaction as a result of that we have learned that how pollen grain releases two male gamete or sperm cells into the ovule. Okay, so you can see here the different uh, parts are leveled here. So you may see the sperm cell that enters the ovule and here are egg cell. Okay, then female gametophyte or uh, we may say embryo cell and two polar nuclei. So this uh, central cell consists of two polar nuclei. Okay, here the egg cell and egg cell along with egg cell two cells are there which are known as synergies. And uh, this uh, female gametophyte or embryo sac, you may see that uh, another uh, end contain three cells. And these three cells are antipodals. So already we have learned about this structure and this activity. Okay. So today let us see that after pollen pistil interaction or after the entry of two male gamete, what happened? So that uh, process is known as double fertilization. After entering one of the synergies, the pollen tube releases two male gametes into the cytoplasm of synergy. Okay, so after the entry of synergy, the pollen tree tube, what does it do? The pollen tube releases two male gametes into the cytoplasm of synergy. Okay, then you may see the picture shows that the release of sperm cells or male gamete. So here how the sperm cell are released into the cytoplasm of synergy. Okay. Then one of the male gametes move towards the egg cell. So you may see that here the arrow shows that how that. Uh, okay. So here is shown that how one of the male gametes will move towards the egg cell and fused with its nucleus resulting in the formation of diploid zygote. So here you may see that after one of the male gamete fuse with the egg cell then what is formed diploid zygote. So now the zygote is diploid in number. Okay then this uh, process is named as syngamy. Okay, so in syngamy, what does it happen? Male gamete uh, fused with egg cell to form diploid zygote. So this process is known as syngamy. So this is uh, one process of fertilization. Okay, so here we came to know that after the entry of the pollen tube into the synergy, Two of the male gametes are released into the cytoplasm of the synergy. After the release of the male gamete, one of the male gamete fused with the egg cell and result in the formation of zygote. And this process is known as syngamy. Then the other male gamete moved towards the two polar nuclei located in the central cell. So one is fused with the egg cell and other move towards the uh, center where two polar nuclei are located and fuse with them to produce a triploid primary endosperm nucleus okay so which we may call pen triploid primary endosperm nucleus so here you may see that one of the male gamete fused with the egg cell and the result in zygote and zygote is twice in number or diploid whereas the other male gamete fused with the two polar nuclei as a result they will form primary endosperm nucleus 
and this uh, second fusion is known as triple fusion why it is known as triple fusion because male gamete is fused with two polar nucleus as a result primary endosperm nucleus is developed which is uh, thrice in number or we can say triple in number triploid so because of which it is known as triploid primary endosperm nucleus okay so because of which in flowering plant fertilization process is known as double fertilization because two time fertilization occur so now if we are asked that uh, what do you mean by double fertilization so we can say that the fusion of one male gamete with egg and fusion of other male gamete with polar nuclei is called double fertilization so what is double fertilization fusion of one male gamete with the egg cell and fusion of other male gamete with polar nuclei is called double fertilization so here the diagram also shows how double fertilization occur in flowering plant so primary endosperm nucleus it will develop okay it will develop into endosperm okay so primary endosperm nucleus develops into endosperm while zygote develops into embryo so now it is clear that that primary endosperm nucleus it will develop into endosperm while zygote will develop into an embryo so later we will learn that uh, how zygote will develop into embryo or other uh, post fertilization events that occurs in flowering plant so today we came to know that how double fertilization occur in flowering plant so in simple um, sentence if uh, we want to say that what is double fertilization then we may say that one of the male gamete fused with xl and the other male gamete fused with the polar nuclei and these two fusion together known as double fertilization so after the process of double fertilization what would happen that a primary endosperm nucleus will develop into endosperm while zygote will develop into an embryo okay so i hope that you have understood what is double fertilization so in next class we will learn about post fertilization events that means what would happen to that zygote or what would happen to that primary endosperm nucleus okay so we should remember that what is the aim of the flowering plant in sexual reproduction what is the aim of flowering plant um, that they show sexual reproduction so their aim is to form or to develop seed okay and now we are approaching towards that formation of seed now today we came to know about that how double fertilization occur in flowering plant so this is the process how double double fertilization will occur in plant okay so i hope that you have understood so thank you and have a good day